everybody and welcome to a very windy hot day in Japan and today we're in Akihabara because I want to check out all of the gachapons that they've got going on if you don't know what a gachapon is I think every country kind of has their own version of it in the UK we had like 20 pence things you'd put in and get a little capsule and it would usually be naff stuff however in Japan they've turned it into a whole series of different things with loads of different levels of quality some are like absolutely amazing you've got, even got premium stuff kind of wanted to record on the bigger one in the main street but also didn't want to be inconsiderate of everybody else so my mission today is to try and find as many dinosaurs or weird kind of things or animals as I can find really so how about we take a look shall we and as if by chance the first one that I'm gonna get has got nothing to do with dinosaurs. Take a look. Actually, I've seen a lot of these gachapons around and I have, this is the first time I've ever seen a Warhammer 40K one. So, oh, I might as well. The only problem with these outside gachas is um, they get quite dirty, as you can see. Look at that. Zoom in on that way. Lovely, yum, yum. <laughs> I'd preferably like a Crimson Fist or a Blood Angel, but we'll see what we get. Or we can find out later, because I can't even see through it. <laughs> On to the next one. Yes, I find a full one. We must do. We got Brachiosaur, Allosaur, T Rex, and Stegosaur. Allosaur is done. Oh, and thus began my adventure into every store to have a look to see what kind of gachapons they had on offer. <laughs> I went into this thinking that I would go for anything that was dinosaur related, but in the end, I think my rule was if it looks cool, I've got to buy it. Premium. Premium. 1,500. That's like a tenner, is it? Is it a tenner? Con. Temporary art. That's comedy. We'll put it on wheels. We'll make sure it's fast on land. I wanted to be a bit more selective with what I chose and opt for the more obscure things, kind of avoiding like the Pokemon or animes that were filled everywhere. And instead opting for the fish that were kind of halfway see-through. Stuff like that, you know, the weird things. We found this in, was it Akihabara? Yeah. Akihabara. And it was like sold out and it was broke. Well, it wasn't sold out, it was broken because you twisted it and just like nothing would come out. But finally. I didn't end up finding as many dinosaur things as I would have liked. And even some places had dinosaur gachapons on display that I'm assuming were old stock because I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, I just thought they were there to taunt me. So we were in Kyoto because we've exhausted everywhere in Tokyo. We've got dinosaur skulls. And there's like a para, a T-Rex and a Spinosaur. Or at least there, and, and a lot more, like Styracosaurus and Pterosaur. However, it is like 500 yen, which is like one of the most expensive, so uh... We're ready! It has been like two weeks or something, not two weeks, but two months since we recorded the intro, to that video. So I've got a whole big bag of, I don't I can't even remember what's in here now. We'll start with the first one, shall we? And our first gachapon is, okay, you can wedge them in. That's good, that's good. There he goes. I don't know what, like a, a salt pepper grinder? No idea is the answer, but that is one gacha down. I think I got multiples of this one because I wanted the T-Rex, but we'll see if we actually managed to get the T-Rex. <laughs> Oh, I think this was the teriyaki monsters. Does it not have any body or anything? It's just like a mushroom with like a lion head in it. That is so random. Aha! He does stand like that. That's what I love about these gadgets. They're just so random. You look like a hamster with egg on your head. Oh, okay. That's adorable. <laughs> look at him. He looks like he's got like a hat to protect him from the sun, but it's just an egg. Put him down there. Put him down. <laughs> Number four is... A little one. Oh, it's Pipa! Is there any need for it to be in plastic, though? Is the question. It's in a capsule, right? Blumen. Everything's got to be fresh. Even the completely artificial things have to be preserved freshly. <laughs> it's adorable. It's like a wasabi beaver. 
It's got like wasabi at the back of it. There you go. You've got freaking egg hamster and now beaver wasabi. We get a, ooh, that's, that's a fairly, oh, I was expecting it to bounce a little bit. A fairly sizable one, this one. Oh, wow, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Are this, are this plastic inside plastic, what? Because on the um, on the actual gachapon itself, the sperm whale was the biggest and it took the most space. And I was, so I was expecting it to be quite big. And I don't think these were cheap either. So the interesting thing with these gachas is that you can buy the full set if you wanted to. But the whole point about gachas is, oh, what am I going to get this time? Because when you can get the full thing, you're like, oh, okay. Ooh, we got a lovely blue one. Ooh, this one looks official. It's Takara Tomi. Oh, this is the official Jurassic World one, I think. Is it not? No, it's not actually. This is just a random dinosaur one. There he goes in bits. Oh, this guy needs to join the battle royale when I can get his legs in. Oh, you need the strength of 10,000 men to get this bloody tail in. You think you can do it when I can't do it, Whitney? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that actually looks really good. It has a poseable mouth and everything. The legs can kind of move because they're on like a ball joint. The arms don't. The mouth does. And the tail, yeah, looks kind of like it's, oh God, yep. It's, it's, it's fallen out, it's fallen out. Right, that'll do. Nobody touch it. We have a T-Rex, yes! Look at it, that looks really cool. I'm really happy with that one. It's so big in comparison to the other ones. Actually, he needs to go behind because he's biggest, like in the photo. All the tall people at the back, that was me. Imagine if they just like put the least popular people in the back and they just said it's because you're tall. It not only is it in a gacha, it's also in a big plastic bag. Yes, oh, that is amazing. Oh my God, yeah. This is what we got in Kyoto. Oh, I'm excited. I think I've got a couple of those, so I'm looking forward to seeing what else we get of that. Rapid fire round. Ooh, he's a sharky. It's, uh, it's like a little um, lemon shark or something. The only reason I think I know what that shark that is is because when I went swimming with sharks in Miami, when I looked down, I think I've got it on footage, it was just a shark like right there. Whee! That was such a fun trip though, I love that. It's, it's fine people to go swimming with sharks over here. Oh, now we've got an official Jurassic wow, World 1. He <laughs> really is like, wait, there's how many? All right, what do we have? It's a Nezudoceratops. Not as big as the unlicensed Takaratomi T-Rex though. Although that's probably more realistic. <gasps> They're compatible. Oh! Over different series! Wow! You hear that, tell? This one looks to be another aquatic one. I went a bit crazy with these because they look so cool. It is! Oh, this is the shark line because there was a shark and then there was a... It's another lemon shark. I can point this one down though. So at least they're positioned differently, which is quite nice. Here we go. This is one of the first gachas I think I ever got. Ooh, we actually have a proper fossil in this one. Gen Genotite? Look at it, it looks so cute. It's got cute little eyesies. Look at that, wow, it's so shiny. That you can actually see the um, the little air chambers inside the air. Geonotite or whatever you want to call it. It's like an ammonite, basically. Yeah, I think I bought a couple of these all open. Whoa, oh, it's like a snail. Look at the cartoony version. Look at all these scientific things that I know nothing about. I don't know what I'm looking at in there. But, I mean, that's what it says. <laughs> I'll have a look to see if we've got any more. Hey, hey, we got another one. Woo! Oh, this has got to be an orthocone. It's an orthoceras. It is an orthocone. This is why I love gachas. Because every time you see a gacha in Japan, you've got to have a look. Do you remember the gacha ponds? Wait, they were like, you could see through them? Yeah, this is, this is one of them. This is so weird. So if you have a look at it. Now, some fish are known for like having little to no meat on them. And they're basically all bone. They also have very little motor control. Or like control and direction in which they're going. They're basically known as these huge things just bump into boats and you can see all the like the bones and stuff inside All right, I'm just gonna go with all the light blue ones. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is Japanese. <laughs> oh, it has dangly legs. It looks like something straight out of Dragon Ball or something like that. It's awesome. Yes, this is the one that we searched ages for. I think this was the last gacha we got. What shark pose did we get? Well, now, now that I see it in person, it's a, it's a bit risque. <laughs> oh, it's SFW. Yeah, safe for work, I think. Barely. Okay, so uh, yeah, th this is some weird thing where there's just like sharks with women legs. You might think this in the Western world is a bit risque, but for Japan's market, that's completely safe and totally normal. <laughs> oh, this is the Warhammer one. Oh, we finally get into these, are we? There he is. I don't know who that is. Is he like a commander with a las gun? He is a Militarum Tempest Scion. He doesn't have the cool helmet, so 
I don't care. <laughs> Put up the cool helmet. Yeah, that's better. You think a little bit of sellotape is going to stop me? Yes. Oh, well, is there's less plastic in this one. <laughs> Talking about randomness, uh, we got the, the plastic bag one, but as you can quite clearly see from this, there's an egg, there's a crow, there's, there's a cabbage, I think. There's a lot of random different things. Oh, this one's a big in. Jesus, what is this thing? This is so freaking cool. It's a freaking Allosaurus skull. Originally when I saw that, I was like, oh, it's a Giga. We're starting to fill up slowly here on the table. I've completely forgotten what other skulls there are. There's probably going to be a T-Rex though, I'd imagine. No There's no other skulls, that's oh. it, is it? Okay. Blue, more blue. <laughs> now I got this one and then the next day when I went back to look at more gachas, it was gone. <laughs> it's an ammonite, or uh, not an ammonite, a nautilus. But you know what they thought we'd do? We'd stick wheels on it. Oh, it goes backwards because it's a Nautilus. It drives backwards. <laughs> they even thought about the way of its like propulsion system that it goes backwards. The detail on it's really nice as well. What's gonna be in this one? Ooh, it's another whaley. I think my favorite set or my favorite one of these so far is. Hamster with egg, is that your favorite? I, th I quite like the frog, the frog looks awesome. I think this one, oh, this is one of those wasps. If you're scared of like spiders and insects, probably now is the time to look away. It's, it's giving me the primal like, ah, do you feel that? The primal like, ah! <laughs> Does it have a stinger in there? No. <laughs> Imagine if it did. Oh, it's mandibles even open. Oh, it does have a little stinger. Now I'm worried. <laughs> oh yeah, it stingers out. I don't know how I've done it, but it stingers came out. Look at that. That looks terrifying. Look at it, that is horrible. Oh, but it's so in detail. The fact that you've got all the little parts and, and the color and there's even a stinger. I don't even know how I got that stinger out. No, no, don't like it. Don't like it at all. But it's really cool, but don't like it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah! Now the reason why I got this one was because it just reminded me of Little Nightmares. Except for, of course, there's a gyoza on top of it. But I've, I've so seen that like pose before with uh, the Runaway Kid or Six or something. It's so weird, but really cool at the same time. Hey, green! We have a, a really fat Shiba Inu. I feel like you got this one and I was like, yeah, we can put that in a video with me. <laughs> you probably take that one now. Dark green! Doesn't bounce. One will bounce, Winnie, just you wait. Oh, we've got another camping one. Oh, it's an owl. I feel like with this one, you, it's one of the gadgets that you probably would buy the whole set. Because there's so many like little bits of it, you just want the whole thing, right? Wasp can go here and terrify some people. Hideous, my mum would call you. Hideous! <laughs> Back to something a little bit more cute. I choose you, Cabbage Mon. It's cute. Although it's not as good as the beaver. The beaver is cuter, but also the beaver had a weird little like b uh, green poopy coming out the bottom of it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Wait, you only get one? What? No, I thought you got two of them. Just zoom into that without any context. Just, <laughs> just zoom into that. <laughs> it's a cat battery. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like take these out of somebody's remote and then put these in and they're like, oh, why is my remote not working? And they open it. <laughs> so I thought I was going to get two. What a jip. Oh, you thought we were done with frogs. You were wrong. And then you put that on the edge of a desk and then he just hangs there. The hornet comes and gets him now. Yes. Pui pui, Whitney. Pui pui. I was wanting a pui pui little uh, pop pop ring holster, like for your phone. <laughs> that is perfect. So there was a couple of premium ones that were out at the same time. The big hornet being one of them, but this being another one. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks so good. Oh, you could, get, you could get some amazing photos of this. So much articulation, which each of the limbs, because it's all jaggedy, that looks so so cool. Oh, okay, like I'll have more of these and less of the wasps. Like, if I just sort of like squeeze it, the way it moves with my hands makes it really feel organic. I could walk down the street and people might think I've actually got a lizard with me. Ooh, this is good. It doesn't have any sellotape, which means it's really easy to open, but it might be very true. Yo, oh, it's the T-Rex for the camping set. Yes, get in. I didn't think I actually got that one. 
Yeah. yeah. And I got that one. You got that one, right? I went back and got another one. Lucky, because I knew you didn't get it on the other two. So I went back and got one, and I thought, I'm going to try it. If, if I get it, then he'll be very happy. And I got it on the first two. You snuck this in. You snuck this into the... That's why I married you, baby. <laughs> oh, look, it comes to this little fireplace. There's also a lot of other stuff that I think is to do with the tent. So unless you get all of them, you're not going to make the tent. All right, okay, let's do the pink one. The pink one will be a nice one, I'm sure. Oh, no, you're a buggy. Oh, okay, but you're a, you're a nice bug. You're an orchid praying mantis, I think? It's not as detailed as like the wasp. I think I've been spoiled by the wasp and the gecko now. Yeah, horny dragon, <laughs> something like that. Oh, the final three. We're here onto a sickly yellow one. Classic more weird Japanese things. An ostrich on the train. Handle, that's it, Winnie, there we go. An ostrich holding a handle. Onto the second last one. It's a Piplup. It's a blooming Pokemon one. What are we doing buying generic stuff? A Pokemon? Pokemon? I don't know what kind of move it's doing there, but it could be going Super Saiyan, so I'd suggest staying away from it. You could either get Piplup, Totodile, or the weird barnacle thing. Oh no, there was another. There's like Pikachu. There's like electric versions, like a Joltik and that weird sleepy looking dragon thing. The final one in a completely dark Pokeball. What could it be? Will it be disappointing? Or will it be really good? We're about to find out. Oh, it's another of the, the camping ones. And it is a different one. It's a penguin. Oh, this is great. So you can have a proper set of them. Also, he needs his cooler box. Put the cooler box in. Th yeah, so that's how it's supposed to go, like that, except for missing the other side of it. But there we go, kind of a camping scene, almost done. And that is it, the entire collection of gachas. I don't even know how many we opened. In Japan, there is a whole wide variety to facilitate any kind of tastes you have. Do you like Pokemon? Well, actually, there's plenty of those. I, I deliberately try to stay away from anything that was quite generic. Oh yeah, you, you can get that anywhere. Stuff like, well, a giant hornet. Can't get that anywhere. What about a gecko? Or a, a weird lion wasabi mushroom? A shark with lady legs. A whole wide variety. I think you can quite clearly see of different things. What was that? A hole. A hole. <laughs> anyway, that is the Gachapon video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll keep my eye out for anything else that's a bit odd. And I'll probably, maybe, maybe we'll make a part two. I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time. I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye. What's my favorite? Not the hornet, that's for sure. <laughs>